The film begins with a guy named Jimmy who hands a USB drive to his wife. Jimmy had taken this USB from a tough gang led by someone named Donnie. As things begin to heat up, Jimmy tells his wife to take their child to her father's place while he stays behind at their old home until the situation calms down. His wife, waking up their daughter, prepares to head to her dad's house. Next, we see the gang leader, Donnie, extremely angry that Jimmy has stolen his USB drive. He orders his men to track down Jimmy and retrieve it. Later, as Jimmy approaches his old home, Donnie's men are already there, waiting to capture him. By morning, Jimmy's wife decides against leaving and sends only their daughter to her grandfather's home. On her way, Donnie's men stop her. Meanwhile, Jimmy's daughter, Sarah, eventually arrives at her grandfather's place. Initially, she can't find him, but after searching, she locates an elderly man named Matt who was asleep. It turns out Matt is her grandfather, but he didn't recognize her at first. Sarah shows him a photo of her parents, and Matt finally realizes she is his granddaughter. Matt then invites Sarah to relax, offering her food and drink. Sarah asks why Matt never visited her family, and he explains that her mother didn't get along with him after her grandmother died 15 years ago. Sarah shared that her parents couldn't attend due to unforeseen issues. She found out when her mom suddenly told her to travel alone. At the airport, Sarah noticed some people were following her. Her mom had planned to join the next day. Meanwhile, Donnie was persistently interrogating Sarah's mom about the location of his USB drive. Under significant pressure, she admitted that Sarah had the USB drive and was staying with her grandpa. Donnie then dispatched two of his best men to retrieve the drive, taking Sarah's mom along with them. Before they left, Donnie threatened that he would harm Jimmy if Sarah lied or resisted. Soon, Sarah's mom and Donnie's men arrived at Matt's house. One of them attempted to search the place, but no one was there. Unbeknownst to them, Sarah and her grandpa Matt were out for a meal. During their outing, Sarah asked why her mom disliked Matt so much. Matt explained that he was often away in the past, leading her mom to believe he was a neglectful father, although he was actually working covertly for the government. After their conversation, Matt and Sarah returned home. To their surprise, Matt found Sarah's mother accompanied by two strangers. He asked Sarah to remain in the car while he approached the strangers politely, assuming they might be tourists. One of Donnie's goons suddenly drew a gun and demanded the location of the USB drive. Matt fought him off, and during the struggle, one of Donnie's main men got killed, while another escaped using Matt's car, unaware that Sarah was hiding inside. Afterward, Matt tried to calm his daughter. Sarah's mom, Ashley, wanted to know everything that had happened. Ashley then took the USB drive out of Sarah's school bag and explained that her husband had worked for Donnie, a brutal mafia boss. He wanted to leave, but Donnie threatened their family. One day, Jimmy managed to steal a USB drive containing Donnie's criminal secrets. Meanwhile, Donnie's right-hand man, Bobo, was with Sarah, questioning her about the missing USB drive. Sarah thought it could be the one her mom had kept in her school bag, which was now probably safe. Bobo tried to inform Donnie about the failed mission and the death of his colleague at Matt's hands. Donnie, furious upon hearing the news, decided to send more men to help Bobo. The scene then moved to a hotel where Matt and Ashley were staying, trying to figure out their next steps while staying safe. Matt went to the balcony to contact his CIA colleague, the head of the CIA. He explained that his family was being targeted by a mafia boss named Donnie and asked for more information about Donnie's background and danger level. The CIA chief assured him he would provide more details later. Back in the hotel room, they were shocked to find Bobo there as well. He reassured Sarah not to worry as long as she didn't do anything strange. Three of Donnie's guys later arrived at the hotel where Bobo was already present. By chance, they ran into Ashley who was on her way to get some coffee. Ashley rushed back inside and warned everyone that Donnie's men were outside. Matt, thinking quickly, instructed Ashley to quickly open and shut the door. Just in time, Matt confronted one of Donnie's men. He then told Ashley to use a rope to escape just as Donnie's other men broke into the room by forcing the door open. As they were lowering Ashley, they realized the door had been breached. Matt had to fight off the intruders while still holding the rope. Eventually, Matt and Ashley managed to escape the hotel quickly. Meanwhile, Bobo, who was getting drinks, was shocked to find his allies dead. He quickly checked the hotel balcony and saw Matt and Ashley making their escape. Bobo immediately contacted Donnie to inform him that his men had been killed. Hearing this, Donnie grew more frustrated and decided to step in personally with his remaining men. 
The scene transitions to Matt and Ashley visiting one of Matt's old friends, a former special forces expert skilled in handling mines. Matt asked him to check the contents of a USB drive he had. They found significant evidence of Donnie's criminal activities on the drive. Following this, Matt tried to contact the head of the CIA again to learn more about how dangerous Donnie was. The CIA had explained that Donnie's gang was a well-organized criminal network involved in various illegal activities, including smuggling, human trafficking, and illegal arms dealing. Additionally, Donnie had a very dangerous superior named Hector Garcia. Hector was seen having a heated argument with one of her employees and ordered the employee to go to the beach. Unfortunately, the employee made a minor mistake, which made Hector furious, and she threatened to harm the employee's spouse. Shortly after, Donnie and his men arrived on the island to retrieve their USB drive. Before their attack, Donnie received information about Matt and Ashley's location. He encountered Bobo and ordered him to kill Sarah. Even though Bobo had reservations, Donnie dismissed any excuses. Donnie and his men then approached the ship where Matt and his group were. He told his men to stay alert as they were not dealing with ordinary people, but special forces experts skilled in infiltration. It turned out that this crucial information came from Hector, who had been working with the CIA's deputy director. Matt and his group were fully aware of the impending danger outside. To ensure everyone's safety, they decided to lock Ashley in a cabin on the ship, telling her not to come out until it was safe. Soon after, Donnie's men tried to throw grenades onto the vessel, causing a leak on the side. Naturally, Ashley panicked and called for help, but no one responded right away. Meanwhile, Matt and his friends started quietly taking down Donnie's men one by one. At the same time, Bobo was leading Sarah to a grim fate. But just as things were about to get worse, Sarah courageously fought back and escaped. She returned to Matt and his friends, who were now cornered by Donnie's men. Thankfully, Sarah showed up soon after, leading to an intense shootout between the opposing groups. Unfortunately, during this chaos, one of Matt's friends got shot. Hearing her mother scream, Sarah ran to open the ship's door. Meanwhile, Bobo was getting closer, ready to harm Sarah. But just as Sarah opened the door, Ashley fired her weapon and took down Bobo. He met his end at Ashley's hands. They all left the ship together, including Matt, who, surprisingly, was still alive. However, their relief was short-lived as Donnie suddenly showed up and shot Matt, then forced Ashley and Sarah to go with him. On the contrary, Matt was still fighting Donnie's men. Shortly after, he realized that Donnie was taking away his daughter and granddaughter. 30 minutes later, Matt hurried to the hospital to help his injured friend while also reaching out to the CIA chief. Matt told him that Donnie had kidnapped his family but didn't know where they were taken. The CIA chief guessed that Donnie might have brought them to Hector's place, Donnie's boss. Unbeknownst to them, their conversation was being secretly listened to by the deputy head of the CIA, who was colluding with Hector's group. Switching back to Matt, he finally reached the hospital and quickly called for medics to treat his injured friend. Later that evening, the scene moved to Hector's house. Ashley and her daughter were indeed there, and soon Hector herself came into the room. Hector offered Matt a deal. She would free Ashley and Sarah if Matt handed over the USB drive he had. However, if he refused, Hector threatened to harm Ashley and Sarah. Outside in Hector's yard, her men were on high alert, expecting an attack from Matt. As predicted, not far from Hector's house, Matt was gearing up with his weapons. A few minutes afterward, a car burst through Hector's gate and Matt quickly took out the guards. Meanwhile, two of Hector's men were watching Matt's movements from the balcony. Just as Ashley and Sarah came out and called for Matt, one of Hector's men managed to catch him. Fortunately, Matt had on a bulletproof vest and managed to overpower the man. Matt swiftly headed towards the trees to evade more of Hector's arriving men. Around the same time, Ashley and Sarah, who were trying to flee from their room, were stopped by Donnie. Donnie forced them to go with him to confront Hector. Meanwhile, Matt was systematically defeating Hector's men outside, but eventually got cornered by Donnie. Donnie demanded the USB drive with all the evidence of their crimes. Matt handed it over and was told to reunite it with his daughter and granddaughter. When Hector asked Donnie for the USB drive, Donnie suddenly shot her. He was fed up with Hector's recklessness, especially since the USB drive had valuable bank passwords worth millions. As Donnie was about to kill Matt and his family, he was suddenly killed himself. The head of the CIA, who had arrived with his deputy, was responsible for Donnie's death. The CIA chairman demanded Matt hand over the original USB drive, knowing Matt wouldn't give it up easily. 
After getting the original USB drive, the chairman unexpectedly shot his deputy. It turned out he was aware of the deputy's collusion with Hector's group all along. Simultaneously, an official who was the CIA chairman's older brother appeared and asked to speak with Matt. The official thanked Matt for taking down Hector's gang and retrieving the USB drive. He shared that he was planning to run for mayor in May and would be going up against the former mayor. The USB drive contained evidence of the previous mayor's misconduct, so all he needed to do was reveal its contents to secure an easy victory. To show his gratitude, the official promised to ensure a comfortable life for Matt and his family. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.